Hello and welcome to the video for How do I use the UMG button? The typical use case for a button is so when you click on it something happens so we're going to go ahead and make it where when we click on our button the application quits. We'll drag a button from the common palette and resize it. Drag text inside of it as a button can contain one child and we'll go ahead and rename the text to quit. We'll go ahead and resize this to make it a little easier and then we'll continue on. Clicking on our button, we find an appearance section. The appearance section contains style, color and opacity, and background color. Background color adjusts the background color of our button itself and tints any image if we're using an image. Color and opacity does the same thing but for the child inside which is our text object. Style determines how this will look in the normal, hovered, pressed and disabled states, as well as options for padding and sounds when you press or hover over the button. For example, our normal looks like this, but it could easily be changed. It could be tinted so that way normal is a certain color. And by default, this is what it comes with. For example, hovered will lighten up and press will darken and shift the text. The most important part of the button is actually making it do something, and that is done by our events. By default, you can capture the click, press, and release events inside of a button. For example, we'll click this green plus icon and we'll create a new event called on clicked with the button name. For example, we will drag off and we'll connect a quit wire. What this will do is when we click, this event will be called and we will quit the game. I'll go ahead and run this and you'll find the button. You can see our hovered over state and our normal state. When I click on it, you can see it go into our click state. Now this is the pressed, this is the released, and then when I click on it, our click event is called and we quit our game. As you can see, using a button is very simple and works just like you would expect it. The key point is to make sure you use your event for on clicked, pressed or released, and style it so it looks good in your application.